channel. So, went to Harbor Freight the other day. I don't know if I told you about this in my last video. Well, this is a, at a different time. But anywho, uh, you know, I love picking up new products, always. And uh, I, this product here I saw from watching the guy, uh, I Am Josh V. He's got a, you know, his detail channel. And he's been in there for a while. He's one of the, one of the top detailers in where, where, wherever he lives in. And, and he's good. He really is. He's good. He's one of the ones I like. Now, some of them out there are kind of, you know, you know, how do you say the word can be kind of arrogant, you know, because they have such big channels with, you know, with a uh, hundred plus thousand viewers and stuff like that, close to a million. So they can be kind of arrogant. But that's OK. But not Josh V. OK. Doesn't seem that way. Anyway, he was talking about this new uh, pressure washer uh, st uh, stubby spray gun. And uh, it's from Harbor Freight. So I went and picked one up. I had heard about it and then I saw him do a video on it. And uh, and uh, this thing is like under 25 bucks for it, okay? So, and it's supposed to be pretty good. And it, it uh, has a maximum of um, 5,000 uh, PSIs. But my electric pressure washer says 2,000. So, you know, and it's not really even getting 2,000. I'm gonna say maybe 14, maybe 1500. So, you know, this has a lot of space and a lot of room for it. So I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna be using it today on my 300 because I'm gonna show you what, how the birds went relentlessly against me for the last couple of days. And I'm gonna show you that the assault that they put on me. So you see the way they package these things can be some of the hardest damn things in the world to get into. I mean, because you can see how this thing is really, it's in a hard cardboard plus it's hard plastic. So what I do is I take a, uh, a little cutter and I go down into the side of it like this. And kind of come around. I don't wanna give you much of like a damage or anything. So, and just cut around it like this to get the, so I can separate the uh, this plastic shield from the cardboard. So I can get this around here like that. And then be careful not to cut yourself because I cut myself. And on numerous occasions of doing stuff like this. Okay. There we go. So a little bit further. Connectors are at. So that's where the box open first. Like that. Okay. All right. So far enough. You got the stubby gun. So we'll lay all this stuff out so you guys can see what comes in the package. Here you have some of the white uh, Teflon tape, I believe that's what you call it. And you got a quick connector. You got two quick connectors and you got the standard uh, standard, which is a standard three eighths on the quick connector so let's take a closer look at what we got here okay so right here we got the stubby gun which is made of a hard plastic which uh i mean it feels sturdy if it doesn't feel any less sturdier than the other ones that i got it doesn't so you got that and you got two of the connectors down here and three of the connectors you got the quick connect down here and uh you got the two the standard ones which is uh the three eighths and the other one the side of it is a I believe it's a, you got one is a three eighths and one's got to be about a half an inch, I think. Okay. I may not, I may be right. And I, I may be wrong. Okay. All right. But I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the back of this thing right here where it says stubby design gets it in uh, the harder places uh, to reach, which I love the little small ones. I don't like the big long extensions that stick on them unless, you know, I'm trying to get up high on top of a, you know, on top of a, a truck or van or something like that that I'm cleaning. Uh, safety uh, lock and handle spring that's on the inside of it. Now, I'm not going to do like Josh V. I'm not going to take this thing apart, okay, or or anybody else. I mean, he, you know, I'll let him do that. I'm just, I'm unboxing it, showing you what it is. I'm going to hook it up, and we're going to show you, you know, how how it works out here uh, on my car. So it includes a 3-8 quick, 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 quick connector, also a 422 to a 14 millimeter, and a uh, 22 to 15 millimeter hose fitting. Uh, premium brass stainless and stainless steel construction prevents rust and leaking. Durable nylon uh, plastic body uh, withstands accidental droppings. Okay, so, you know, pretty much built like that. But I'm telling you, the ones that I've gotten in the past that I've ordered off Amazon didn't come with all the extra stuff like this one comes with. So Harbor Freight is definitely what they're doing is they're, they're trying to, you know, they're, they're you know, they're trying to cater more to, you know, the uh, uh, detailing, you know, people and, you know, the home, you're doing it at home, just doing your own stuff. And like I said, this stuff is not just used for detailing cars. I mean, you can use this stuff to power wash your, your driveway, your ground, your, 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 your side of your house, the building or whatever, you know, it all works like that. So, all right. So as you say, we got a few connectors here 
Now here's the quick connect. The quick connect goes into this right here. But before I connect all this, I am going to be using this uh, this Teflon tape to put around that to keep them leaking. You have to, because if you don't put the stuff around here, you will get leaks. And then you put on that bone tight. The reason why I look down inside there, there's no washer or rubber piece down on the inside of it. So you have to have the tape, the uh, Teflon tape on the side of it. In the same way, if you're using the other side, because this side also fits that, but it fits the bigger side of your um, of your pressure gun. Okay, so we're gonna get this thing all hooked up and 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 see how it works. Okay, so the way I'm gonna hook this up is I'm not gonna use the quick connect right now because I need the other side of the quick connect in order to fit into the. Um, I got to get that other side to fit the holes on the power washer if, if I'm gonna be using the quick connect, which I will be. But for right now, so I'm just gonna use the. Uh, the regular screw in one. I've already got the uh, Teflon tape on it. And uh, I believe this takes, and I put a good few rolls on it. Now I'm not gonna go through with you all on how, you know, to, um, how to put Teflon tape on because I mean, everybody should know pretty much how that works. But I know this takes a 22 inch uh, wrench on one side and this other side right here. See if we can get this all tightened up. It's a 22 on one side and a 20 on the other side. Let's see. I'm gonna get this thing here all tightened up. There we go. And I want to go pretty much to snug it real good. All right. So I got the new Harbor Freight little stubby hooked up. And you know the thing I noticed about it, which is different from my, this is my old one. This is one of my old ones. This is one I normally use. I got the other ones that got the long extensions on them. This one has a swivel. This knob right here, this handle swivels. That swivels right there. This whole piece right here moves and swivels around. So it keeps you from, uh, it keeps you from, you know, tangling up your holes or trying to spin your holes around. But let me show you, here's my 300, all right? And let me show you what the birds did to me uh, and this just happened last night. I kid you not. From last night to this morning. Look at that. I mean, they went out on all out warfare attack on me. I mean, I was going to wash it anyway, but they just, they just tore it up. So let me give it a quick spray rinse and see if any of this stuff comes off. And it's not hard for it to come off because of the protection that I have on it. But we are I am out here in the hot sun. And today the temperature in St. Louis is getting up to around, you can see it's hot out here. It's really, really hot. And it's like it's not even 90 yet, but the humidity is just crazy. But taking a look at the stubby, the way that this thing works. I like it. I do. I like it. It's a lot lighter than my other one is over there. And, uh, you know, it's so small. I mean, it fits right in here. It feels like a nice gun that you just bought, you know? So... There are a few other bird spots there on it, around it, but uh, you know, I I was gonna go ahead and, and get it washed and cleaned up. I just got a call from one of my uh, one of my clients, the one who has the G wagon, who's coming by today, so we can do an update, a one week. No, actually, it's been two weeks to do a two week update on that Permashine, that X Forma, X Forma, I believe, Permashine uh, tire coating to see how it's held up. I'm gonna do one tire and see how it, you know. We're gonna, we're gonna see what it looks like, see if the stuff's holding up or not. All right, so anywho, guys, that's the video on the uh, pressure washer, the, the stubber, the st ha, ha, stubber, the stubby spray gun that's uh, available at Amazon. Not Amazon, okay, come on, Tommy, I gotta get it right. Go bleed, take it over. All right, which is available at Harbor Freight for under $25, not bad. Swivel handle, like I said, look at this. You see how that handle moves around? without this bottom part moving around. That twists and turns. The other ones don't do that, okay? So, hey, for $25, not bad. Not bad at all. 
not bad. Now you get some of the uh, uh, people, and you, and you'll see them. You know, some of the the big name, you know, uh, professional detailers are. Well, I wouldn't use it on one of my customers' cars because reason why? Because it doesn't cost 150 bucks. Everything I use has to cost a high price. Yeah, that's bull. That's bull. Because the same stuff that they're using that they're paying 150 and 200 bucks for, I pay a lot less, and I still get the same results as what they get. All right. Now, don't get me wrong, I said this over and over again, you get what you pay for, true enough. But there are some times, some things like this, where you can, you know, where, where, you, where you don't have to pay so much. Now, the real, the real key to it is, is how durable is it? How long will it last? That's the point what I'm looking at, okay? So I'll put it to you this way. If this thing stops working within the next two to three washes, then I will say to myself, hey, you know what, that was a waste of 25 bucks, all right? But the other one that I showed you, the other one I got over there, I paid maybe 30 bucks for it, and I've had that thing for three years, and it's still rolling, it's still going, okay? It's still going, and I got that one off of Amazon. I, yeah, I remember, I got that one off of Amazon. I think I paid like 30, maybe 35 bucks for it, all right? But it also came with extensions and stuff like that as well, too. But it's still going. For the last three years, it's still moving, It's still, and I'm doing... Trust me, I've been doing a lot of vehicles, okay? I'm at the point now where I am detailing uh, like three vehicles a week, three to four vehicles. That's enough for me. To some people, it might not seem like that's enough, but see, I'm, I am retired. I'm retired. This is what I do on the side. This little business is what I do on the side. I'm not making a fortune doing it, but you know, hey, it's okay. The little bit I'm making. I'm not making enough where the government can come in and take some tax money off of me. That's damn for sure. You know, but, you know, I do, but not only just making the money, I love doing vehicles. It's a passion of mine. It's therapy for me. It is. Detailing, paint enhancement, paint correction, cleaning up vehicles, shampoo and carpets on the inside. Not windows, because I hate windows. Everybody hates windows. Okay? Everybody hates windows. But everything else, the paint, the exterior of the vehicle, I love tackling it. And the better it looks, the more I want at it, all right? So hey, you know, your likes, your your uh, your notification bells, you gotta hit those. It helps me to keep my channel going. I've reached 800 subscribers. Woo, I'm so happy to reach, because I never thought I'd even reach 800 subscribers. I don't have 8,000 subscribers. I don't have 800,000 subscribers, okay? I don't have 80,000 subscribers. I get 800 subscribers. And I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If I can get to 1,000 subscribers, you know, hey, it's a milestone for me. It's great that I got 800, but I'm really appreciative. I am so thankful to those of you who watch my videos, who hit those like buttons, who hits those uh, notification buttons, who leave me comments. I thank y'all so much. I, I do. You guys, I have no idea how appreciative I am to you because of it. I am, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, re I reach out and now I talk to people from, uh, through text messages and whatnot from all around the world. And it's a beautiful, it's a wonderful thing. It's great to share stuff with people and to show you that, hey, you know, you don't need a whole lot of money to get a whole lot done. And I see that this thing even has a lock on it. Uh oh, I don't, I don't want to spray the water while I'm in here on the inside. But it's even got a little clip down here. And I can see it where you take that and you pull this clip down. And that clip right there keeps the gun from going off like that. It's even got a lock clip on it. Come on, guys. Harbor Freight, <laughs> non pay. Harbor Freight's not paying me a dime. They're not giving me anything. It's a great deal. It's a great deal. If you're looking for a good pressure, one, pressure gun, go up to Harbor Freight, get the stubby, get you that. Get this, uh, they got this other, uh, I believe it's a Sun Joe. It may be a Sun Joe uh, um, um, pressure washer. You can get that thing up there and catch it on sale sometimes for like 69, 79 bucks. For under 100 bucks, you can have everything you need to start pressure washing. Hey, you know, you're gonna do it, do it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in the channel. We'll see you next time.